Ukrainian 95th Brigade destroys Russian tanks in close-range anti-tank missile attack. Russian tanks have been destroyed in a brutal close-contact ambush by elite Ukrainian paratroopers, according to dramatic combat footage. A Russian tank moving down a muddy road fell victim to a well-planned ambush from Ukrainian troops, resulting in the vehicle being blown up. Drone footage taken of the clash appears to show a Ukrainian infantryman firing a rocket hitting the rear of the tank. The tank is rocked by a massive explosion which sends parts flying. Continuing on a short distance, the Russian tank then suffers a secondary explosion. Thick smoke bellows from the damaged tank after the Ukrainian missile strike. Nearby a second Russian tank stand motionless, it is unclear from the footage if the second vehicle has also been taken out by the Ukrainian unit. This week, former U.S. General James Clapper warned the prospect of a nuclear attack by Vladimir Putin is not as improbable as many believe. Western intelligence has reportedly shown there have been high-level talks within the Kremlin among senior Russian army chiefs about using a tactical nuke as pressure on Putin mount amid Ukrainian military gains. Mr. Clapper told CNN, I am sure there have been lots of discussions amongst senior Russian officers about nuclear weapons and whether they should be used or not, or when. What's missing from all this, or at least what is missing from the reporting that is available accessible to us, is what actually would the objective be on the part of the Russians to use nuclear weapons. What would they try to do beyond what they are trying to do already, which is using conventional weapons, gradually destroying the civilian infrastructure of Ukraine? I still feel the prospect for the use of nuclear weapons is unlikely, but not as improbable as it was before February 24th. This week, another former U.S. general predicted Vladimir Putin will lose everything as Russia will eventually be forced to give up all Ukrainian territory gained since 2014. Ben Hodges, who served as commanding general of the United States Army in Europe, has predicted that Ukraine will eventually roll back all of Russia's military gains since 2014, including liberating Crimea. Putin is desperate to cling onto the territory in southern and eastern Ukraine which Russian forces have managed to grab but are now struggling to hold as Kiev mounts renewed offensives powered by Western weaponry. The retired general told Times Radio, I believe that Ukraine will have liberated Crimea by the summer and I believe that because we've talked about who has the superior will. The Ukrainian soldiers and Ukrainian people compared to the Russians. The logistics situation for Russia is terrible, you know, the Kirsch Bridge being damaged, the Russians now are trying to improve the route that runs along past Mariupol in order to resupply their forces in the southern part of Ukraine. Their logistics system was already weak, I would say exhausted even before this, and now they're adding a couple 100,000 of troops that are just going to be another burden. Meanwhile, the 95th Air Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Air Assault Force, which released the clip, said, Every day, the soldiers of the armed forces risk their lives, demonstrate courage and heroism, and step by step liberate our land from the Russian invaders. It comes as Russian soldiers are forcing Ukrainian civilians from their apartments in the occupied capital of the Kherson region and moving in themselves, a resident said Friday as the southern city became a growing focus of war in Ukraine. His account of soldiers spreading throughout the city of Kherson suggested that Russia could be preparing for intense urban warfare in anticipation of Ukrainian advances. Russia-installed authorities in Kherson continue to urge civilians to leave the city, which lies on the western bank of the Dnieper River and has been cut off from supplies and food by Ukrainian bombardment. 
Kirill Stramusov, the deputy head of the region's Kremlin-appointed administration, reiterated calls for civilians to depart for the other bank of the river. Stramusov said Thursday that Russian forces might soon withdraw from Kherson City. On Friday, he said the statement was merely an attempt to encourage evacuations. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has suggested the Russians were feigning a pullout from Kherson in order to lure the Ukrainian army into an entrenched battle. Zelensky called attempts to convince civilians to move deeper into Russian-controlled territory theater. A Kherson resident told the Associated Press that Russian soldiers were installing themselves in vacated apartments. Russian military personnel were going door to door, checking property deeds and forcing tenants to leave immediately if they can't prove ownership of apartments, he said. Fire! 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 Fire!